Commuters are being warned it'll be at least another year before there's any possibility of using iPhones or credit cards to travel. The Public Transport Minister has conceded improvements are needed to modernise the ticketing system. Heidi Murphy has more. Sydney siders have had other options for years, leaving Melburnians well behind. People do want a very much a seamless uh, tap and go, either with your mobile phone or with the credit card. Yes, 100%. That would make it much easier for everybody, I'm sure. It's more convenient rather than topping up every time. Android phones can be used to tap on, but no progress still with Apple devices. And it's just extraordinary that the government hasn't been able to deal with them. We haven't been able to land that at present, but that is certainly something that we've got on the table as part of the expression of interest process. Oh, we might, we'll be able to fix it in the next contract. The MyKey system started with high hopes as a $400 million project. It was $940 million when the contract was signed. It blew out to $1.5 billion when it was finally running in 2010. Six years later, the Andrews government extended the contract for seven years. That $700 million deal finishes late next year. It means it's cost us $2.2 billion so far. Sorry, $2.2 billion? I'm moving to Sydney. That's a lot of extra money that could be going to other things. We are really looking at best practice right around the world. It's not just potentially a whole new card system coming. Each of these machines will have to be upgraded by whoever gets the next contract. Currently they run on 3G. The government must make sure that whatever it is, whether we continue with Mikey or whether we actually go to some sort of new system, that we have the ability to add new technology to it. Heidi Murphy, Nine News.